welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. Today I'm going to be doing my first grocery shopping and grocery haul for living alone for the first time. I literally moved in to my downtown apartment yesterday. If you guys are new here, I'm a junior transfer student at Mizzou. I just moved into my dream apartment yesterday. I'm so excited and I currently have no food. So I am so excited to have a stocked fridge and pantry. I'm not going to be getting the most groceries ever today because i am leaving for a trip in like five days but anything that won't go bad i can go ahead and get and also just anything i'm gonna eat in the next few days so we'll see i'll this is my first little test run i haven't sh grocery shopped for myself in forever because i've been living at home for the past like half a year i'm so excited i'm gonna bring you guys along for the shopping portion and also gonna do a haul of everything i get and it's just gonna be a fun little vlog also i look kind of messy because i've literally just like went on a super long walk this morning and i'm just taking in my new town so i decided why get ready to go grocery shopping so i'm still in my workout outfit and we just got our hair back in a bun no makeup type beat i hope you guys are having an amazing day when you guys are watching this and i just pulled up to the grocery store and it's so hot outside today so we're gonna go get in because i want some air conditioning right now Alright guys, we are going shopping at Walmart today because we are on a budget, college student budget type beat. So let's head over inside. Does anybody else always get tempted by the dips and spread section? Like all of them sound so good right now. I will say Walmart has really stepped up their like healthy food game. They have a whole aisle of like healthy plant-based things so I'm checking that out right now. Expensive random parts of moving in is you have to like re-get all your sauces and everything like that. so I just checked out as you guys can see I decided to just stock up because um I basically anything that wouldn't go bad I was like if I'm gonna want it in the future I might as well get it now so when we get home I'll do a grocery haul but I'm going to load it up in my car all right you guys so update time I just got back to my apartment I just unloaded all of the groceries in my kitchen and now we're going to do a grocery haul so I try to stay more on the healthy side my goal is to work on becoming healthier and healthier as I live alone because like I'm in control of everything so there's really no excuses and I just want to make my body feel better, treat myself better. And also, I know I said I wasn't planning on it getting a lot because I'm leaving for a trip in like five days. But basically almost everything I got is stuff that will still be good when I get back. And I made sure the things that will go bad, I got like a good amount I feel. I'll eat it all before I leave. So let's get right into the haul. I think I'm going to do this haul more like vlog style. I said have you guys on this tripod just so it's like more like... I'm showing my friend my guy at the grocery store, but I'm so excited. I also did grocery shop when I was hungry, but I was also motivated to work on being a better me. So I feel like I did pretty good at staying on healthier choices, not, you know, getting a bunch of chips, things like that, because sometimes I can be tempted to be like that. Also, if you guys notice that I am sweaty, it is because I live in a downtown apartment complex. So I just walked my groceries like very far and my hands were breaking and I was sweating. That's how big okay, my necklace is all sorts of messed up. We're just gonna ignore that. Okay, let's go to my kitchen and give you guys the haul. All right, you guys. So here is an overview of all the groceries I got. I will probably never buy this many groceries again because the first time you go, you have to get all the like random stuff, like these sorts of things, but a good stock up is always good. All right, y'all, we're going to start in this corner with like the carby stuff, but I got these hamburger buns because I'm gonna make tuna melts this week. I got flour tortillas because these don't go bad for like, they last so long. And I love making wraps with these eggs. Like I eat probably at least one to two of these a day. I got naan, which I actually was gonna make pizzas with because it was on sale, but I forgot to get pizza sauce. So I'm going to like look up a recipe with stuff that I have and we'll see. I got the roasted garlic flavor and then I got bow tie noodles because again, I always like to keep noodles where I'm living because they're not gonna go bad and that's always an easy meal option. And then I got ciabatta rolls because I'm going to try to eat a lot of sandwiches this week because I want to get more protein. So this is like my favorite bread ever. Not the healthiest, but I love to buy rolls. All right, moving over to the drinks. I got my favorite coffee, which is the caramel macchiato. Honestly, it saved me so much money buying that because I don't go to so many coffee shops. I got almond milk, which I recently switched over to from dairy milk and I like it much more. I got a pack of six lemonade vitamin water just for when I'm not feeling like drinking water. I got two things of eggs just to fill up my little egg container in my fridge and because I eat a lot of eggs. <laughs> that, like, I think that's self-explanatory. All right, and then this was a part of the stock up, which is not stuff I would buy every week. So we got ranch, 
I got Mrs. Dash seasoning. I like to put on my chicken. I got Alfredo sauce, yum yum sauce, olive oil. Is that olive oil? Yes. Okay, I got the right thing. I got honey, ketchup, mayo. Mayo is for the tuna melts. I don't really like mayo that much, but I did get it for that. And then I got two things of tuna for that dinner. I got two, so I could do it two different nights. That's like a really easy dinner. And then moving on to like the fruits and vegetables kind of stuff. I got red table grapes. I'm trying to break like my sugar craving and I'm somebody who like loves candy and stuff like that. So I got red table grapes and I'm going to try and eat these every time I have that craving instead of going to get something junky. And then I got baby spinach. I got this mixed fruit, which has pineapple, strawberries, peaches, and mango which I make smoothies with. I can't wait to try out my new blender. Also, I just get the Walmart brand of everything if that's a choice because it is the cheapest. And again, I am a college student on a budget. So I got mozzarella cheese and Colby Jack cheese. I eat a lot of cheese. So honestly, I will eat all of this before I go on my trip. And then I got the same thing of petite baby peeled carrots. I'm gonna try and replace my like snacky craving with eating carrots. It's really easy when you live alone because I have control over what food I have in my pantry. So I'm gonna try and replace it with that. I got laughing cow cheese. Just again, if I'm feeling snacky, I love having laughing cow cheese as a snack with like some wheat thins. Then I got two potatoes to do with dinner or lunch one day. I don't know. I love potatoes. Which I just realized I didn't get butter, but maybe that's really better. I'll try to make a recipe without butter. That's something I just forgot. So if it's your first grocery shopping trip and you're getting this kind of thing, probably pick up butter. Okay, and then moving over to like the meat kind of stuff. If you guys can't tell from this, I love chicken. So I got rotisserie chicken breast strips with red meat seasoned. This is really, really good to make wraps out of, which it's also like really easy because it's pre-seasoned and everything. Then I got just air fried Tyson 75% less chicken breast strips. I don't know, I've never had these before, but they looked good and I wanted to get like at least something for my freezer like this because this isn't gonna go bad when I leave, so it doesn't matter if I eat it before and just an easy lunch or dinner if I'm like craving something like this instead of going out to eat. And then I got deli meat, so I actually decided to get buffalo chicken slices. I thought this looked really good for sandwiches with just some shredded cheese on it. So yeah, and I always, I don't know why I never got this kind of meat from Walmart. I always thought it was more expensive if you got it in the deli. And it was like cheaper than the prepackaged stuff. So very excited about that. And then now moving over to the snacky food. So first off, wheat thins. Like I said, I love to have this with some cheese. I got white rice. I love having rice chicken. And again, this isn't going to go bad. So I won't have to buy this very often. I got some seasoned croutons because I love to do croutons and spinach as like a salad and it tastes amazing to me. So got those. I got chicken flavored rice. This isn't something I normally get, but it just looks good. It was super cheap. I thought I could have that with a dinner one night. I got skinny pop popcorn. Again, if I'm wanting chips or something like that, this is more of a chippy type thing. I love the taste of this stuff actually. So definitely picked that up. I got this for my sweet cravings. So they're the oat bites, they're chocolate chip oats. So I'm gonna make these, that's why I got honey. And then I got peanut butter. Again, just like with this, bread, anything. These are my favorite little bars. If I'm on the go, the iced oatmeal cookie Z bars. I don't know how good for you or how bad for you these are, to be honest, but I'm a very picky with granola bars. I don't usually like them. So I did pick those up. Here's like my little junky corner. I did get chocolate covered peanuts. Again, if I have a sweet craving, instead of going to get ice cream or something, I'm going to try to eat a few of these to fill that craving. And then ramen is obviously not good for you, but it's a really, really easy quick meal and I'll keep these in my pantry just forever just to have on hand, especially like if my siblings are visiting or something. Also, this is just like such a comfort food for me to eat before bed if I'm craving it. So just picked up a few of those because they're 20 cents. And then I got Tiny Nut Cheerios. If I don't feel like having eggs for breakfast, I can just have this. All right, guys, so that is all the food I got. Sorry if my hand was a little shaky at all. I'm actually hungry, like I said. I made the mistake, which I don't recommend, of going grocery shopping hungry, so my hands are kind of like, girl, you need to eat, which I'm gonna eat, but first I wanna put all this stuff away, so I thought I would organize my kitchen. So let's go ahead and set you guys up, and let's organize them. I'm so excited. Like, I'm on like the side of TikTok that's always like organizing their pantries and their fridges, and I have been living at home, so I haven't had that to do, and this is gonna be so fun. So I'll put you guys up on a tripod, and let's get to organizing.
right guys, so the fridge is pretty much done except for I need to wash my grapes. So looking pretty organized. I just have all my vitamin waters in here. I put my carrots in here, my eggs. This, all these storage containers are from the container store. I have all my cheese in this and then my spinach here. Not a ton in here. And then I just have my coffee and my almond milk in the door. And then, oh, I forgot to put my sauce in the door. One second, I will catch up with you when I put my sauce in the drawer. All right, we're back. I put my ranch and my ketchup here and then I put my mayo and my yum yum sauce here. So let's go ahead and close that. Fridge all organized. And then in my freezer, I just have my frozen meats, my frozen fruit, whatever. I'll probably end up, I wanted to get edamame, but they were sold out. So anything like vegetables or fruit will go over here. Bread, because it's gonna go bad kind of soon. And I didn't pay attention to that in my freezer until it's the day I'm gonna use it. And then my ice, obviously. And then next up, we're organizing the pantry. So you guys can see there's still a ton of food out because most of my food was pantry food. So I have a bunch of empty containers and all of these from the container store that I packed me in my move, but most of them are empty except for Stormy's food. I love this built-in because I can like access the food from the side. So it really takes full advantage of the space. This is the only drawer I really have done. I have like my tea, my coffee, my liquid IVs, and then this is just random because I had it, but I'm gonna take that out of here. So this will just be like my drink drawer. And then down here I have like my random things but food is gonna go up here so let's get to organizing my pantry y'all so i finished my pantry so i wanted to show you obviously it's kind of stayed the same i just put a little meal i got i don't know if i showed this in the haul but i got a little fruit punch offering me to put in my drink drawer kind of keep me off of soda i have my popcorn cheerios granola bars and wheat thins so this is like my snacks and then i kind of have to use a chair to see up here but i'll try to show you guys the best i can i have my tuna on the side i use this organizer for different sauce type things and then i put like my chocolate covered peanuts and my ramen and potatoes up here kind of like less healthy things like more out of sight is kind of what i was thinking with putting the ramen up there and then up here is a really tall but i put all of my bread rice and like stuff to cook because i feel like I'm not going to use that stuff that much or I can just grab my chair whenever I do. And then lastly over here I put my noodles away in this like cabinet because I thought that they looked cute. I need to get another kind of noodle to put in there but yes. And then the last little fridge update is you guys saw I washed my grapes. So I just put them in this really pretty little ceramic container with like an airtight lid up there. So my fridge is all complete looking beautiful. So yes, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me grocery shop, seeing what I got, kind of gave you guys some ideas hopefully, and also my organization. I hope that gave you some motivation because having just an organized space makes you feel so good. Like the fact that my food's organized just, I feel so good. I feel alive. <laughs> but yes, thank you Sunflower so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love y'all. Since she started hating, I've been waking up too early. I'm